What is up guys, we're going back to Bottled and Bond. I'm Ozzy, and today we have another one straight from Texas. Yeah, so today we're actually going to head over to Texas, and we're going to head over to the Balcones Distillery in Texas, and we're going to check out their rye, 100% rye whiskey. Bam! So this is the Balcones Texas Rye, 100 proof pot distilled, 100% rye whiskey from the uh, Balcones Distilling Company in Waco, Texas. This bottle is non-chill filtered. Not only is it 100% rye, but it is 100 proof. Now to my knowledge, from what I've read, they said that the rye they picked up was El Elbon, Elbon rye from Northwest Texas. And the age statement just pretty much says about 15 months in, uh, in oak. I have no idea. I, you do your own research, your own due diligence, and let me know in the comments what they mean by oak. Are they just pretty much letting it sit in a barrel in oak? Or are they referring to the oak in the barrel, the wooden staves? I have no idea. I didn't want to really take up too much time. I've already had Balcones here. Their single malt that was gifted to me. I was happy to, uh, happy to source this one and actually found their bourbon as well. But since we've done this already here in Bottled in Bond, uh, Balcones at least, let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what we find. Oh, ho, ho, get pop. Uh, I don't know. So for those of you guys that are actually interested, the batch of this is what kind of seems to say rye, R-Y-E, could be mistaken, 120 TAC 1, and the date is February 17th, 2020. So this is a bottle from last year. I'm not sure why they're very adamant on putting uh, colored. So on the back, they have never chill filter or colored. I mean, listen, are distilleries still coloring their whiskey? That's, that's, a, that's something for me to research. Unless you want to do the research for me and hit me up, because uh, uh, th that's very interesting. So if the distilleries are still uh, coloring their whiskey, let me know in the comments below. I want to know which distillery is still doing that. So I never do a tour at their distillery. Oh, wow. This is a different rye. So I've never. Listen, rye to me, they're even, even the rye that are like just at the lowest. Like it's just herbal, kind of like. A little tea-like, without the sweetness. A little, maybe, a little dirty. A little, a little, I don't know, herbal and maybe a little medicinal at times. This is just. This has a bomb of something in here. I'm getting some kind of a medicinal cherry-like note. It's not. It's not necessary. So it's. I'm expecting rice. So that's that's the problem. If you cover this up and you don't tell me, I go into this as a blind taste, I'm probably gonna tell you that this smells good. It kind of smells like a scotch in a way. It smells a little leathery. Maybe some citrusy, maybe some apples and bananas. Probably picking up a little bit of uh maybe a little bit of a cinnamon, definitely some honey in there. And uh hmm, cherries. You know, but when I when when you show me this, when you say, "Hey, this is a rye, a hundred percent rye, and a hundred proof," and I go to smell this baby, that ain't no damn rye. That's some like cherry bourbon, medicinal something. Definitely citrusy and definitely fruity, man. You you you're picking up a, a a mix of like tropical fruits in there, which is a good thing. Okay, that's that it has that going for it, but just that that musty funk in there is just kind of throwing me off. It's not a bad thing. Like I said, if I went in this blindfolded, I'd probably tell you that the nose, phenomenal. Like it, unique, definitely should be good. Cheers. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit of a funky mid palate towards the end and a little bit of a coffee wow just a, a caramel man a toffee towards the back back end and it kind of lingers like a toffee note and it's kind of good all right i kind of like it but yeah going in right initially you get a little bit of a, a caramel you get a little bit of a sweetness maybe uh some honey some honeydew 
indeed some honeydew a little bit of a butterscotch you're picking up some apples you're picking up some cherries here and there like i said you, you're still getting that that tropical fruit fruit you know like a mixture marmalade kind but then you know you start getting those hints mid palate of some of that you know just the little bit of a funk a little bit of a leathery let's uh let's round two all right cheers Oh yeah, there was that toffee towards the end, man. A little coffee-like candy toffee note towards the end. I, I like, I definitely like the finish on this. Definitely like it. It's phenomenal. The fact that you can come in uh, honey forward with some kind of a jelly-like marmalade, citrusy, uh, apple-like. Like I said, that banana is prominent in there. Tropical fruit, honey, like I stated. But then it mixes into like a caramel. It gets more, so it goes from like a fruit to a candy that transforms it to that toffee. Maybe it has something to do with a little bit of a smoke blended in there, not sure. But it's it's a different rye. I've never had a rye like this. Usually the ryes, man, they, they pack a different punch and I'm in love. This feels like it's lying to me. It doesn't taste like a rye per se but it is freaking delicious. It's good, all right? If you're a fan of rye and you wanna just dive into something different, Balcones, 100% rye is your way to go. Elbon rye, Elbon rye, Elbon rye, Elbon rye. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. E-L-B-O-N from Northwest Texas. It's different. Not sure how they're cooking it up, mashing it up, distilling it up, you know, aging it up, bottling it up. Maybe it's the oaks that they're using. I'm not sure, but it's different, it's unique, it's a different rye, and it's good. I'm Ozzy, and this is the Balcones 100% Rye from the Balcones Distilling Company in Waco, Texas. And this is Bottled in Bond. Cheers.